Previously on The Boys Who Brunch. Ever since I came out to her, it's just... It's been so bad. My mom has cancer, so I'll probably go and see her, I guess. What? Chuck. I didn't know she was this bad. Why didn't you insist that they keep her in the hospital? I have a son. <laughs> oh, totally trumping my cancer mom. Does your fiance know about this? The engagement is off, by the way. I'm actually thinking about giving him another shot. With Jen. Do you think that I'll ever find my Darius? Oh, come on. I know it. How about you slow down? I'm sure you're all oiled and dust-free by now. Oh, can you go over to my place tomorrow between 12 and 2? Okay. I have a really important package coming. I didn't think you'd want to see me. Of course I'd want to see you. I did take that job in New Hampshire. I'll get to be with Jaden and watch him grow up. I see your face, how you look at him, how you feel. You should tell him. I have something I need to tell you. What is it? Mason! Chica! I'm about to rehearse this new song that I've been working on for this show. Why don't you come listen? Let's go. Okay. Only New York, right? Only New York. <laughs> So, Lincoln, Mason tells me you're an amazing dancer. Mm -hmm. So why don't you try a little something while I sing? Me? She's not talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll try. Thomas Campbell once said, when love first came to earth, the spring spread rose beds to receive him. Concernant toi et moi, mais je n'ai pas pu trouver les mots et la musique. Mais un soir j'ai rêvé. Concernant toi et moi, alors les mots me sont venus. Je m'aime écrit une symphonie. Mark Overby once said, Love is much like a wild rose, beautiful and calm, but willing to draw blood in its defense.
You always leave your door unlocked like that? Yeah, I have a doorman. Hey, you want a beer or something? Uh, sure. I'd say 6.30, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. I overestimated the traffic. There was none. Oh, yeah. It's not as hard to get to the east side as people think. Oh, it's just as hard as I remembered. What was that? Nothing. Cheers. Cheers. Wait, wait, how does it go? Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. No, no, no. Or no, is no. the other way around? Beer before no, liquor? No, I mean, I know what you're trying to do. Okay. Look, I've got to be up early for work. Yeah, come on. I, I won't be able to go to your last night out thing with your friends tomorrow, so this is it for us. Come on, shot. What? An old Swedish proverb says, If I had a rose for every time I thought of you, I'd be picking roses for a lifetime. That was amazing. amazing. And sexy as hell. Not to self, try one of these white boys. I am so glad I finally got to see what you do. Random thought. Why don't you do what you just did at my show? <gasps> that would be so cool. Uh, when is it again? It's not this Friday, but next Friday at 8, but you have to get there at 7 so we can work a few things out. We are so there. Um, I don't think I am available Friday, I'm sorry. Mason, I need to go. Can we go? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. It was sure. so lovely meeting you. Nice meeting it's such you. a beautiful song. Thank you, you're wonderful dancer. <laughs> gotta go. See you. We'll talk. Note to self, scratch previous note. <laughs> oh man, I missed this. Oh, me too. <laughs> too bad you're straight now. Not straight now. Just always bye. Either way, I just can't picture you with Jen and her crazy ass. <laughs> Whatever happened to her and that, uh, that guy she was engaged to anyway? You sleep with him too? <laughs> what guy? You mean Charlie? I don't know his name. <laughs> they were never engaged. I mean, she had a ring and everything. <laughs> right. I don't know what she told you, Ray, but she proposed to him. She bought that ring for herself. <laughs> so he said no? He said no. He ran for the hills, took his kid, and left. <laughs> his kid? Yep. Charlie was a dick. But Jaden was such a cute kid. <laughs> Jaden is, is Charlie's kid. But hey, you enjoy New Hampshire and good luck with my psycho sister. J just proceed with caution. Like flares, traffic cones, yellow police tape type caution. Wait up! You okay? Mason, I've been trying to tell you this for days now. I know. I love you too. No. Oh. Mason, these past few months have been the greatest few months of my life. Mine too. And I wish I could say. Where are you going? I have to go back to Australia. Why? I was only visiting, Mason. I'm here on a visitor's visa. Uh, when do you have to leave? My flight is in two days. Two days? I'm sorry. Okay, uh... We can make this work. We can. Um, 
we can get married now. <laughs> Hello? So, I'm, I'm not saying we're ready for marriage, but I love you, and if it means we could be together, I mean, you're an amazing dancer. It's New York City. I could introduce you to my agent. I have to go back. I don't understand. I tried to tell you this. You tried to tell me? It's been months. I'm sorry. You've only been two days? I'm sorry. Okay, um... We can make this work. We can. Do you want to make this work? I'd always wanted to live in New York City. Be a dancer in some great company. But I've never even been here. So... When my boyfriend and I started growing apart, arguing constantly, we decided best to take a break, take some time for ourselves. So I got on a plane, came here to the greatest city in the world. I met the greatest guy. I don't need to hear anymore. Don't look back, don't look back, don't look back, don't look back. Hello? Hi, Mom. Oh, I guess you're calling because you got the... Yeah, no, I got the money. That's not what I'm calling about. Uh, do you remember when we used to be so close? I could tell you anything. I just broke up with someone that I really, really loved, and I wish I could talk to you about it. A man. Of course it was a man. Mason, I told you I will not support your sinful choices. I am praying for you every day that you will wake up and realize that you have been so blessed to have been given life. The opportunity to be in this beautiful world that God has made for us. Every day you wake up, you have a choice. I pray for you too. I pray that Maybe one day you'll finally realize it's not a choice. Why would I choose this, Mom? It's not fun or trendy or whatever you might be thinking. In this beautiful world you're always talking about, it's ugly and judgmental and evil and sad. And the only choice here was the one you and Dad made 28 years ago when you chose to have sex and bring me here. I didn't ask to be here. And I don't get to choose who I'm attracted to. So you don't get to hate me for being what you made. You don't get to. You don't get to. I didn't bring you here. What? I didn't bring you here. What are you talking about? 28 years ago, someone else brought you here and your dad and I adopted you. <laughs> I sent your friend Elliot something for you. It should give you some answers. We haven't talked in years, and I just thought it would be easier coming from him. You should probably not call anymore. Hello? Mason? Uh. 
I really need to take that key away from you. Okay, I know you're probably still mad at me, but I have something I need to tell you. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Apparently everyone has something they need to tell me today. Now uh, this is for you. <laughs> Why? Just saw it and thought of you. Roses are overrated. You got a cactus back there? At least they're more upfront and honest about their prickliness. And they need less maintenance and attention. And they last longer too. Mason? Oh, right, that's right. You had something you needed to tell me. I love you. What are you talking about? I think I've always loved you. When I was at Jeremy's is when I figured it out, like a light bulb went off in my head. What is that thing that Oprah says? A uh, moment. Yeah, right. I think that you're my Darius. <laughs> I... Oh, go with Elliot. No, 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 wait, 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 no, I have a whole speech and everything. Elliot, okay, okay. Elliot, you're my friend. We're friends, okay? That's all. Okay. Everyone thinks they're in love. All the time. Especially with their firsts. The truth is I probably never should have slept with you that night. Oh, that's a big mistake. Maybe if you sleep with some more people, you know, then you'll finally grow up. You know? Grow up, Elliot. Grow up. A rose, despite its beauty and fragrance, still carries thorns and will eventually die.